Uh, I'm feeling a little bit like Iron Man in this contraption. It's an exoskeleton, a robotic device designed to help paraplegic patients walk. The goal, though, not just to use a joystick to move it, but also to use your mind. A sensor cap reads student Gabriel's brain waves, even as he simply thinks about walking. Now, the actual movement here is controlled by a computer, but this training pairs the user's thought and the device's steps. In fact, some paraplegics have already begun to use this system thinking their own steps. Now, UH neuroscientist and Brain Center director, Dr. José Luis Contreras Vidal, is studying the brain waves of... You know, musicians and dancers, they have been highly trained. They have an exquisite control of the body. He's hoping their brains can create more expressive human movements for potentially truly wearable technology. It's like this, it would be more like a garment. You would like that to be more like a human gait, right? Chronic stroke patients who need to relearn use of their arms could also benefit. This is PhD student Leon Sanchez Rodriguez's project. When the person wants to move the arm, and that way we can try to rehabilitate uh, the brain signals. Rehabilitating a damaged brain. Consider the possibilities from depression to dementia. Alzheimer's patients with severe memory loss often still remember songs clearly. So we know that music it's powerful, right? It can change your mood. It can bring back memories. And so, so there's no question that through music we can gain access to the brain, to specific memory areas. Doctors eventually prescribe music and dance to train the mind and heal the body. So maybe one day stimulating the right parts of the brain will actually be the therapy of choice versus, say, surgery or pills. Fuck.